It's sunset at the Hoodoos in the Badlands in Wyoming. said. It's July 1st, 2022, and we're heading out to the Badlands to see the hoodoos. It was supposed to be 90, so I'm dressed in shorts and a light shirt, and guess what? It's windy and cool and raining. Dang. Before we get there, we're checking out our geocache. Come along. Let's see if anybody's been here. Yeah, go ahead. These guys all said they don't think anybody's been here. I think one person's been here, and I'm going to be yeah. right because at least Ben Garcia's been yeah. A lot of dirt on it. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's find out. Let's find out. Bible place. Oh, yeah. I think they're still there. Yeah. We check the. Yeah, there, there's still three survival bracelets there. Oh, wow. So okay, since Ben and his girlfriend's been here, 411 of 22, someone else came on 515, and his name was Phil. Burwell. Very cool. From Idaho. Nice. Woo. I win. You knew that, didn't you, Melissa? I didn't know it, but there we go. For the next people who come to our Wyoming Jeepers Geocache, you get a copy of the Call of the Last Frontier. And this is your virtual signing. And you'll be able to remember when we were here July 1st, because it says it on there. I hope you get it. What'd you get? I'm gonna, I got me a little flashlight that I'm gonna put in and I'm gonna switch it for a bracelet. Yep. But I think they're really cool and Ben did an awesome job making these. His kids. And yeah. his kid. Oh. I'm gonna switch it. Make sure it's all off. And I'm gonna take the green one. We noticed that Phil Burnwell signed the book. We'd like to know, Phil, are you a fan and do you watch our show? And if you do, let us know in the comments how you found our bucket. Huh? What's well, kind of weird? The wire's there. There it is. That. Yeah. You like it? Yep. I think, I think it's, it's good. There, don't you? Yeah. All the runoff was going on it and everything. Right. Well, maybe we'll outrun this weather and still be able to cook our dinner. Only you would say something like that. The cacti have beautiful flowers today. <laughs> Silly guy. Thinks he's Trinity. If you haven't seen that show, you should look it up. It's Elgin's favorite, the Trinity show. Hey, Elaine, you're getting your wish. A road you haven't ever been on before. Yeah, I'm all excited about it. I bet you are. I think that rain went right past us. Woohoo! That would be lucky. Yeah. There it is. That's going the other way. We might be able to cook our tinfoil dinners. Could strap our tinfoil dinners to the exhaust pipe. <laughs> Truckers putting them on their motors, and it would heat it up. I don't think it would cook it thoroughly if you put your tinfoil dinner on your exhaust pipe. 
and it might put some chemicals in it. Oh, it would cook it thoroughly after a while. Put your hand on it, see if it cook your hand thoroughly. Well, why don't we cook your meal like that? Just in case the fire doesn't work out with the rain. Then you'll have something to eat. Yeah, I'll just eat it raw. Mm, sounds good. Hey, this yeah. is kind of cool going up there. I do not want to drive down that. No, no, no. Just put it in four low. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm I don't gonna... blame you. I am not driving down there. It's like, how do you do that? Right. We gotta learn this, guys. Hey, this is so sweet, you guys. We're gonna be going down this. This, I don't know, wash. some kind of a wash or something, and we don't have to be in the Jeeps to get scared. We're just gonna video these guys. Could have drove this, I, I might have been drove able to, this. Okay. We could have done this, but let's not tell those guys. Okay, we're not gonna tell them. I might have been able to do I, this. Oh, no, honestly, we could have done this. Look at that dead animal over Jurassic. there. Jurassic! There's a dead animal! <laughs> Yes, they are not they, our sponsor. They all, all not only bring you a lot of fun, but they're dang good. See? They are good. Grab a handful. While they have their Funyuns, I'm going to have Fritos.
she just climbed. I'm impressed. Look how steep that is. She went straight up. I bet her legs are burning now. see the road and you're going up over a hill because you don't know for sure what's on the other side it could be washed out you know you assume there's road if you're driving up a road but what if it's washed out and it could be that kind of reminds me of when we lived in Montana decomposed plants and hey it has sparkles animals and stuff like that okay so and this? you can put it on like an indian okay you can make that on last today it, it is, is what lower. you call freeze-dried oil <laughs> <laughs> if she put that a little lower she'd have had a mustache uh, i didn't see what she did look at her tires. I can't drive that fast. Elgin's complaining because he wants new tires. Big tires. Not big. Just bigger. Just 35s. I don't want big ones. Big, big, big ones.
in the Badlands. What do you think that is? That is the little booger that gets into my socks when I'm out hiking. It looks like it might be done. Let me see. That looks good, sis. No, it's wearing not a tutu. tutu. <laughs> what do they wear those things of loincloth? That's what it is. Let's do the walk. Tracks. We are making tracks. We're trying to beat the light so we can see some stuff. Yep. It's not natural for all those rocks to be here. And nothing here. <laughs> this is what's left of the old road. And even it has hoodies on it. They're everywhere. Hoodies are everywhere. But yeah, we could go this way. It's the faster. land is changing. <laughs> go, yeah. Hey, it's, a new it's just a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall off the rocks. Dad, I'm hiding my water bottle. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. Not good for somebody who has a balance problem. <laughs> <laughs> Elgin spotted this stream. It goes all the way down there. But look where it's coming from. Up in there. Is that cool or what? That's a hoodoo. It's little. But it's still got dirt underneath it. It's a rock suspended on top. But these are all hoodoos held up by a little bit of dirt, a big rock on top. Do you see how fragile that is? These all are. And you have to gingerly step around them so that you don't ruin them. Found me a septarian stone. It might just be limestone, but it's shaped like a septarian stone. So we'll see. It's beautiful! Come on!
Every time I step on the ground right here, it feels like there's an extra barrier, kind of like the sponge. And when I step on it, it crunches all the way down and it makes that really weird feeling under your feet and a neat crunch. Hey, let's go. Whew, cool. It's gonna be so hard to find in the dark. The sun just went down. So we need to get hiking because those cliffs are steep and the rocks move. Oh, those rocks move under feet. So it is time to get going now. Woohoo! Back to ya! It has been a great great day we had a lot of fun we thought it was going to rain on us but it didn't it's been like right around in the 70s we have a treat for you tonight we are going to drive out in the dark with our lights It's gonna go straight east there for a while, and then it's gonna go northeast. That's how you find your way home. Night. It's quarter to 11. Quarter so, to 12, let's... quarter to one. notified of all new videos and click the bell and set to all. <laughs> it's a little sticky. Looks like you're headed. Dirty. Looks like you're going to the prom. <laughs> yep, don't want to stick your head out the window when it's all dusty. If you want to learn how hoodoos form, click on Myron Cook's video here or check the description for a link. Myron happens to be Elgin and Elaine's brother.